Hi, this is Jim Ray, and in this Post Builder lesson, we will discuss and look at user defined events. Our lesson plan is to define what a user defined event is. We'll show you how to edit an existing UDE. We'll then create a new UDE, and we'll show you how to access those new variables that you create. First off, what is a UDE? Well, from the documentation, a UDE is a custom machine control event that you can add either to operations or CAM parent objects such as program, MCS, machine tool method. These UDEs can be used to define the event for post processing in Post Builder. We actually have a tool inside Post Builder now that you can create your user defined event inside of Post Builder, and we'll show you how that works. First, let's take a look at how to use an existing user defined event. There's actually two ways to do this. You can use mouse button 3 in the operation navigator, choose object, start events, and that will bring up the events that are available for that particular object. Remember, not all events are available for all objects. There is a filter selection for user defined events so that they may be only be available on milling events or turning events or drilling events so that you can filter out inappropriate uses for a UDE. Another way to activate an existing user defined event is inside the machine control tab. Choose either the start of path events or end of path events and then choose that event to create. Let's take a look at how we do that inside of NX. Inside of NX or CAM Express, I can use mouse button 3 on an operation, choose object, start events, and then I'm presented with a list of already created user defined events that I can choose from. If I choose cutter compensation, for example, I highlight it choose add this new event then I can set the parameters for cutter compensation another way to add a user defined event to an operation is to double click on the operation to edit it then enter the machine control tab under start of path events or end of path events choose the edit button and then you can access those same events from there. To enable the creation of user defined events in Post Builder, you must turn on that option under Options Enable UDE Editor. Once you've turned it on, under Program and Toolpath, the Program sub tab, if you click on Machine Control, you can see that there are some already existing user defined events. Some are partially customizable and some are fully customizable. Let's examine a user defined event inside a post builder and how it applies to the actual UDE inside of NX. On the left hand side we have the user defined event as you created inside post builder and on the right hand side you have the actual dialog from NX or CAM Express. You can see that the label applies at the top of each dialog. You can also see the third item down, the option list, becomes an option list inside of NX. There are also toggles that you can turn on or off. In fact there are several different types of options that you can turn on in your own user defined event dialog. Let's take a look at some of them. An integer value would be appropriate to use if you're trying to establish a cutcom register or a tool value, anything that doesn't require a decimal point. If you need a real value with a decimal point, 
That's what the real option is for. The option list allows you to define your own list of things that the user can select inside of NX. Text field creates a text field that you can type into inside of NX or Cam Express. Point allows you to define a point on the graphics area. And vector allows you to create a vector in the graphics area. In our first scenario, we'll create a new user-defined event in PostBuilder. We'll then add logic in the post to accommodate this new user-defined event. We'll save the post. We'll then open the CDL file that was created for that post. We'll copy and paste our user-defined event into the main UDE.CDL file that NX uses. Then we'll save that file, reread it, and then we'll test that new user-defined event. Let's get started. I've already created a post that I want to create my user defined event for. So I'll simply move to the Program and Toolpath tab, then choose the Program sub tab, and finally click on Machine Control. You can see that there's a list of partially editable user defined events and fully editable user-defined events. That's because I turned on the Enable UDE Editor option. If I had not turned it on, I would not see these green UDEs. To edit an existing user-defined event, you simply find the one you want to edit, and then use mouse button 3 to say edit user defined parameters. I can add options to this and then I must define what that new option is. In this task I want to create a new user defined event so I'll cancel this. Notice that I can delete the fully configurable user-defined events, but I cannot delete the blue ones because these are only partially configurable. To create a new user-defined event, simply use mouse button 3 and say create a new machine control event. Define the event name. You must also give it a post name. And then an event label. Note that these names and labels do not have to be different. I'm just making them different so that you can understand the possibilities. For a description, you can actually attach a image or you can add a website to describe what this user-defined event should do. You can also define a category. I'll choose OK. So the label is Select NC Programmer. The status is active. I will now add an option list of NC programmers. This variable name is very important because it will be the ultimate variable name that you grab when you're doing the posted output. The only difference between this and the posted output is it will have a lowercase mom underscore added to the front of it. Let's add some programmers.
Okay, my list is complete. Choose OK. Here is my new user defined event. Now I must decide what to do with the information once I see it. To do that, I'll create a custom command at the operation start sequence. Custom command at the first tool. Now save the post. The next step is to copy the new user defined event into the main UDE.CDL file. I've already called both files up in a text editor. The first one, the one that PostBuilder created, is called 3axis2.CDL. The first part of the name is the same as my original post. My new event is the first one on the list. I copy and paste it into the UDE.CDL file. You can put this wherever you like. I'll put it at the top of the list. paste. Now I'll save this next I'll go into NX and reread this file. Before I can see the new user defined event I have to force NX or CAM Express to reread the configuration file. To do that I choose preferences Manufacturing, choose the Configuration tab, then I select the Reset the Default button for the configuration file. This forces the system to reread the manufacturing files, including the UDE.CDL file. Now I can place that user defined event on any object. I'll place it at the program object. Mouse button 3. Object, Start Event, select NC Programmer. I don't know what controls the, the sequence of these. Sometimes it's at the top, sometimes it's at the bottom, sometimes it's in the middle. So I don't know how to control the, uh, the order of the events on this list. But once I found it, I'll say Add the New Event select the appropriate programmer from the list choose OK OK now we can post process this program and test our posted output
browse for a post and our new user defined event is outputting code. One last thing before we leave here. You can actually add user defined events to the main dialog. Let me show you how. Mouse button 3, Object, Customize. I want to choose Start Events, select NC Programmer, add that to the dialog. Choose OK. Now when I double click on this dialog, the dialog has Select an NC Programmer as part of the dialog. That's very handy if you want to customize Cam Express to a specific customer's needs. In summary, you learned what a user-defined event is, we showed you how to create a new user-defined event or edit an existing one. We also showed you how to access those new variables that the user-defined event creates. Some tips. Any variable that you create inside of a user-defined event will have MOM underscore added to the front of it. So in our case, NC Programmer becomes MOM underscore NC Programmer. Remember that it's important to not call variables before they come into existence. So if a user defined event is if a user defined event is inside an operation, you won't be able to call that variable at the start of program. There is a way around that. It's called up level. It's a TCL code. You can look it up in your TCL library. Now do you really need a user-defined event? Most of the time a new user-defined event is not necessary. Ask yourself this question. Can I supply the necessary logic without user-defined event being added? In other words, instead of placing more burden on the NC programmer to have him or her remember more options to click and more buttons to push, is there some way that inside of the post we can figure out the settings to, to choose and select based on certain conditions? If that's possible and we can avoid a user-defined event, it saves us all extra work in the long run. Thanks for viewing.